is Cooking Up Something Good by Mac DeMarco. Really quick, I'll just run through the chords. Standard E tuning with a capo on the 4th fret. Uh, Mac tunes A to 432. So, if you try to play along with the video, you might find that your guitar sounds a little sharp. That's because you're probably tuned to 440. Um, so yeah, that being said, the first chord is an E, and when I say E, I mean like the shape E that's normally played down here. I'm not going to let the capo change it, because, let's see, four half steps above E, that's uh, F, uh, G sharp, I think. Anyway, you're only playing these first three strings. You're doing an E, so the only finger you really need is on the fifth fret or first, because of the capo, um, of the G string. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> that's what it should sound like. So that's the first chord. The next chord is up here on the ninth fret. You will play the first two strings on the ninth fret and then the third string on the tenth fret. Try not to hit this string or any of the other strings. Only try to hit the top three. Some I have trouble with with this song. Um, and then there's a... it's not a hammer-on but uh, later in the chord, you put your finger down on the 11th fret of the high E string. So, it will sound like this. Okay. Then you slide down to the bottom. You just bar off the first three strings. It should sound like this. But it's a slide up, so you go like this. Then you go back to this chord again. Oops. And then you're back home. And that's the main repeating riff. Um, after the first couple times he plays it, he starts throwing in the bass and going all over that, but I'm not really going to go over that because I don't know it very well. I'll just show you this bit so you can just play it. So, now that you have the chords down, the strumming pattern is the trickier part. What you'll do is, as you're strumming, you're just going to keep moving your hand. You're not going to, even when you're not playing notes, you keep moving your hand as if you were strumming. You just don't actually strike the strings. And then, on some of the notes, you'll mute the strings and strike them. I use my pinky. Um, I don't know how Mac does it but I use my pinky, because it's the only free finger I have. And I mean, I guess you can use this palm and like do that, but I don't know, I, this just seems a lot easier to me. So, um, the strumming pattern is, on the first chord, strike, miss, miss, strike, mute, mute, strike. slide up to the next chord. And once you're up there, it is strike, 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 miss, strike. And notice on that last one you put down your ring finger on uh, the 11th fret of the high E string. And then you slide down and you slide up the fret you know, that bar, and you go like this. So when you slide up that half fret, that's at the same time you miss on the up strum. 
It's strike, miss, miss, strike, mute, mute, strike, mute, mute, strike, mute, mute. Now, just like the first one, but this time you slide up from the bottom again. So it sounds like this. Then you go back to this chord, and just repeat that bit again. So really slowly, I'll go through the whole thing, and it will sound like this. Hope this is helpful to somebody. Uh, I feel I might have explained it a little shitty, but I hope between going back and forth through the video, you can figure out how to play it.